Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another uh, wax I've been melting video. So this is essentially just wax I've been melting, but I haven't finished, but I just wanted to show you guys, maybe give like a tiny short review or just, you know, showcase what I've been melting recently. So uh, yeah, without further ado, I'm just gonna get started. I don't know how often I'll do these videos. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have any set like time frame. I think I'm just gonna do it until I guess I have too much wax to remember the performance of like I'll just do a a decent amount where the video won't be too long or too short or something like that so uh, I always get started with retail wax first so I'll get started with that so the first thing I melted is the sugar cookie from Walmart uh, this is a really nice sugar cookie scent and I think in my last video I said that uh, I felt like this sugar cookie is more has more frosting than like a crunchy cookie note which is which makes it different from vanilla cookie crunch from better homes and garden and i know that i said that i liked this one better but i sort of take that back i feel like i like vanilla con vanilla cookie crunch more now so i don't know i guess i'm just like going back and forth between what i like um my nose does that to me sometimes so uh yeah this is still a good sugar cookie scent very solid nothing too special but it's good the next one I have here is from Sensationals. This is Rainy Day, which is Water Lily and Warm White Musk. This is a value pack. I melted some more of this, and I really like this scent. This is a go-to bathroom scent for me. Um, it's just a very classic, clean, aquatic, white floral kind of scent. So it's not like... It's not a cleaner kind of scent, it just smells clean and it's a very familiar scent. I feel like a lot of people would be able to recognize this kind of scent. I feel like it's a very universally known kind of clean floral scent, so I liked that. Okay, and then the next thing I melted here was uh, from Sensationals, also from Walmart. This is Pumpkin Spice and um, it says it's pumpkin time. So this I got on clearance, I think I got this for 10 cents. And I would never have picked this up otherwise because I'm just not a spice person. So anything spice, like even if it's in the name, even if I've never smelled it before, I usually just have an aversion to it. Um, however, I do feel like my nose is changing a little bit. I feel like I can tolerate and handle spice a lot more than I could before. Um, I just went off on that tangent there, but this is so good I, I don't know like I smell this and I don't really smell a strong spice note I don't know if it's just me or if my nose is just being funky or I can tolerate spice now so I don't find it to be as like as you know as nose turning as it used to be or something but this to me smells yeasty like a like a pumpkin bread that has no sweetness or any saltiness to it it just smells like very plain yeasty pumpkin bread um, and this actually really surprised me because I was mixing it with a different scent, which I'll show now. Um, I guess I'll show it now. So I mixed this with this loaf from L3, which is blue sugar, mango sorbet, and strawberry. Um, I said in my previous video that this loaf was like way too sweet. Something in it was way too sweet. The combination of the mango sorbet and the blue sugar, I think, made it so sweet. But I was mixing these together so that this scent that has no sweetness... I added a little sweetness to it. I think I can mix it with cotton candy as well. But this combination one is so good. Um, because this was so sweet and this was not sweet at all, like mixing it together, it made the perfect combination. It wasn't, it was just the perfect amount of sweetness and that pumpkin bready note was just so, so good. This, I only used one cube and this threw forever. Like this threw for like two days. Keep in mind, I turned my warmers off at night, but still like I would turn it on the next day and it was still throwing and it was strong for a long time. So I'm very impressed with this. And yeah, on warm, it completely transformed and I just really, really enjoyed it. I would have never thought I would like this, but yeah, I love this. Um, I highly recommend it if you are someone that possibly doesn't like spicy things and you... Yeah, this is not spicy, essentially, and yeah, I just love this. Um, So yeah, I mixed it with this because I don't like this on its own, so this is good, perfect to mix it with. Moving on. Okay, I've been chugging through my loaf from Ebony Violet. This is You Wear It Well, which is fresh laundry, vanilla, jasmine, rose, and amber. Um, It doesn't look like I used a lot. I didn't melt it a lot, but I did melt some of it. This is such a good pretty laundry scent that amber the vanilla with those floral notes it's so pretty it's not a straight up laundry scent it just smells 
really nice, clean, and pretty, like a very, like a, like a very clean room, I guess you could say. But yeah, I really like this, and I will continue to melt through this. And yes, um, I melt this in my bedroom as well as the bathroom. I feel like it is appropriate for both. It's just really pretty. Okay, so moving on, I have some bakery bags here that I melted through, so I will um pick some of that up. So I did melt through some lemon basil from Hayden Row. This is like a little like bag and has a bunch of her little ducks inside of it, which are super cute. As you can see, they are also two toned. Uh, this is a really interesting scent. Now I can't say it's my favorite. However, I do think it is definitely very unique. Now the basil in here actually smells like basil. It has that strong, I don't want to say that basil has like a bit of a funk to it, but it, it's a very particular scent and it has a very particular taste. And I feel like this sort of captures that, captures that like essence of basil into this wax melt. And it's very lemony, very, very fresh kind of scent. Perfect for spring or summer, in my opinion. And yeah, I just think it's very unique. I used to not like this, but the more I melted, the more I'm like, okay, this is okay. I think once I finish up this bag, I'm not going to re like repurchase it, but um, I will enjoy melting through the rest of it and that's it. Um, the throw, so strong, super, super strong. Hayden Rose Wax um, usually performs very well for me, and this is no exception, so that's very good. Okay, the next bakery bag, let's see here, is from Southbound. This is a Graveyard Spells, which is blueberry, strawberry, vanilla, sweet sugar, and love spell. I really like this scent. Uh, it has really cute shapes. I don't know if I'll take any of them out. I don't know if anyone's interested. Okay, I'll take out one shape. Let's see. Here's like a... It says boo. Okay. Okay, I'm taking up way too much time. Anyways, um, I'll, I did take pictures of it on my Instagram. So if you're curious about some of the shapes, I do showcase it on my Instagram, which I will link it down below. But this is so good. Now, I am not a Love Spell fan. I think I've said this before. I know everyone... Even though Love Spell is a very, um, I think it's peach, right? It doesn't first smell very peachy to me. But um, it's like a floral peach scent. It's a classic from Victoria's Secret. I feel like most people know what it smells like. It was an iconic scent. Literally everyone um, wore Love Spell at one point, I feel like. But um, Love Spell is so popular, but I don't like it. I'm a pure seduction girl. Um, Love Spell just has this sharp note to it that I don't like. And it's sort of surprising to me since it's such a fruity scent, and I tend to really like very fruity scents. But um, with the addition of the blueberry, the vanilla, the sweetness, and the strawberry, it just made it really, really good. The blueberry in here was um, sort of fresh, a fresher blueberry, not quite a bakery blueberry, but it did add... With the love spell, it sort of like toned down the sharpness of the love spell, if that makes sense. And it, it was just really good, nice, fruity blend with a hint of vanilla for that creaminess. Um, yeah, so good. I love that. So uh, I don't know if she re... I don't know if she offered this again this year, but I don't know. I did really enjoy it and throw on it was very good. Okay, moving on. Let's see here. I'm just grabbing it random. Another bakery bag I have. This is from Vintage Chic Scents. <coughs> Ooh, I'm so sorry. Sorry for that. <clears throat> I feel like something got stuck in my throat there. So excuse me. I know that was nasty, but um. Anyways, this is from BCS. This is in One Sweet Day, which is which is Wild Berries and Strawberry Rhubarb. This is pretty old. This is from February of 2019, but it's still throwing. It's still throwing very well. Um, inside um, has like, a cute little rose shapes. I'll take one out to show you. But you know, her iconic rose shape. I feel like a lot of people know BCS for this. Uh, but yeah, it's very pretty. This is a really pretty scent. This is definitely more for spring and summer, but if you know me, you know that I love fruity scents. I I like my fruity scents usually to be straight up fruity. No like addition of like any creamy notes like ice cream or vanilla or stuff like that. I tend to like them straight up fruity. And this is exactly that. This is such a beautiful berry scent. And with that rhubarb, it adds like this tartness to it. This is not a sweet fruity scent. This is definitely a tart, more sour fruity scent. Almost like berries that are not completely ripe yet. Um, you know, 
just like sour raspberries like with that rhubarb rhubarb is just so good um if you're catching my drift i really enjoyed this this is still throwing pretty well i do think that it threw better before uh but it's still throwing throwing so um yeah that's pretty good it's more of like a medium-ish kind of throw but i definitely enjoyed that okay all right moving on i don't know where am i gonna put all this stuff <laughs> okay Chugging along here. Let me move this back a little bit. Okay. So, I think I'm just going to grab at random. I don't have any particular. If it seems out of order, I'm sorry. I'm just grabbing at random. Oh, another clamshell that I found. This is from Britney Sweet Tarts. This is Meyer Lemon. Um, I used about three cubes. And this was actually pretty good. It was throwing about a good medium strong, which is pretty rare for me for this vendor. I tend to not really get things that throw too well from this vendor. But this one did throw. It's a nice sweet, but a little bit tart lemon scent. Uh, very nice. And uh, I really enjoy lemon scent. So this one was good. Okay, moving on. So I have been working through my Rose Girls Peppermint. As you can see here, I just melted some more cubes. I love this peppermint. I said before, it's my favorite peppermint that I've come across in the vendor world. It's just so good, nice, strong, strong peppermint scent. I do wish that the longevity was better for this scent, but um, yeah, I reach for it very often. I really like it, so I will continue to repurchase it, but yeah, I do wish the longevity was longer on that. Um, next thing here, also from Rose Girls, this is a chopped up chunk muffin um, in vanilla sandalwood, campfire marshmallows, and peeps cake. The vanilla sandalwood was very strong in here. I definitely could smell like the marshmallow notes and a hint of smokiness. I do appreciate that the campfire was not like overly smoky. Um, that vanilla sandalwood really adds like this comforting, cozy note to this with the sweet marshmallow note. So this was pretty nice. I do enjoy this um, and it's still throwing pretty well. And uh, yeah, this was good. Next one I have here. Let's see. This is ebony violet. This is pumpkin firewood, which is roasted pumpkin guayac wood. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Star anise, applewood, charred firewood, and black amber. And oh my gosh, this is so good. I do believe this is a single oil, but this is so good. This is the epitome of fall for me. It has that like charred wood notes, but it has that pumpkin flesh, um, almost as if you charred some of the pumpkin as well on firewood. And it's so good. Um, it's not a spicy scent, but I do think it has like a, not like a cinnamony spice. Like I think the star anise, like it says, adds that like really nice complex scent to it. Even though this is a single scent oil, I really like this. I tend not to be a fall, like I don't like fall scents that much um, typically, but I do really like this and I feel like this is just perfect. Um, I have a couple more pieces. I would repurchase the scent once I, uh, once I finish this up. Um, but I do think a variety of vendors carry pumpkin firewood. I would repurchase it again from um, Ebony Violet. It had pretty decent throw. Um, or it was okay. It was okay, but I could definitely smell it in a room. It wasn't overwhelming, I guess. Um, but I do think Kay's carries pumpkin firewood as well. But I could be wrong. But I know I've seen it in L3 as well. I don't know. But basically, it's a oil that a lot of vendors carry, and I really enjoy it. So... Um, yeah, moving on. I've still been working through my custom that I made from more accidents. This is apple blossom, pomegranate, and gardenia. I have a couple cubes left. I think I'll finish it soon. I mainly use it in the bathroom just because I don't like it too much because it's too floral for my taste, but that's not to fault to the vendor. The throw is so strong on this. It's very, very good, and I uh, really like it, and I will continue to through this. Not a repurchase, but it has great performance. Next thing here is from Ava's Country Cover. This is Malibu Heat. I have only one cube left, um, so I don't even know if I wanted to show this or not since I'm going to finish it soon, but whatever. This is a Bath & Body Works type. This is okay. Not my favorite scent in the world, but it was, it was okay. It still had pretty decent good throw, um, so yeah. Next one here is also from Ava's Country Cupboard. This is like a little snap bar that broke in transit, but I used a little, uh, as you can see, this little piece here that broke off. Um, uh, this is Blood Orange Margarita. This is so good and so strong. This is such a strong blood orange scent. Um, there's a tartness to it, and it is so, like, 
I don't know, citrusy that I feel like it has a fizzy note to it, even though there's no like fizz stated in here or soda pop kind of scent. But yeah, this is really, really good. I feel like if you like fruity, citrus, and fizzy scents, you would love this. So that is really good. Okay. And then moving on, let's see here. Okay. Um, next I have from L3 Waxy Wonders. I melted this. This is Colt. I love when she does like fun labels like this because it's so cold. There's no scent notes on here, which I wish there was, but you know, given the cool label, I'm like, okay, I sort of get it because there's not really any space for you to put scent notes. But um, this is bubblegum, Mountain Dew, and blue raspberry, which is totally up my alley. I love fizzy. I love soda. I love artificial candy scents like blue, um, blue raspberry. So this is so good. And this was really good. I do really enjoy this. I would say this is more of a summer scent, but I don't really care because summer is my favorite season of scents. So I will always be melting summer scents regardless of what month it is. Uh, but uh, yeah, this had a really, really cool gargoyle shape. Look at that. It says hair lies. And I don't know, it's so cool. I've never seen that shape from a vendor before. I just thought I would show you because it's freaking cool. <laughs> so there is that. Okay, moving on. I did go through a, start melting a scoopable from L3. This is white sage, sea salt, and light blue type. And I melted through, like one, I used it once in the bathroom. This is how much I used. And this was performing very strong lasted a good long time i do feel like lowage lower wattage warmers tend to do better for scoopable so my bathroom melter is a like plug-in warmer it's i think it's 15 watts actually so this lasted a good amount of time in there i really liked it this is definitely strong on the sea salt which i wasn't expecting like i would think the sage would overtake it and the light blue but um it's definitely very strong on the sea salt and then i smell the light blue which is a uh, perfume type light blue is more of like a unisex cologne from Dolce & Gabbana but uh, yeah very fresh clean sea salty a bit aquatic and clean um, so yeah this is um, this is okay um, I think I'll finish up the scoop but I don't think I need to get it again okay moving on let's see here so I have something from Britta's this is uh, from her advent calendar her um, collaboration advent calendar with Rainbow Melts last year. I just put it away in my back drawer and forgot about it and I'm just melting this now. So this is her Ski Weekend, which I think is her Icy Peppermint, Sweater Weather, and Vanilla Bean Noel, I think. And then Cookie Craze is from Rainbow Melts and it's a very popular cookie scent that she carries. I just can't remember off. It's like butter cookies, frosted animal cookies, and something else, but I don't remember. But um, this was a really good... It basically smelled like a peppermint uh, sugar cookie kind of scent. It's good. It's very nice. And I feel like I have a lot of blends similar to this, but this is a very good one. So, uh, yeah. I'll continue to melt through that. Another one I also got from the advent calendar last year that I just put away for this um, winter, fall season is Black Christmas. This is cashmere cream, crackling birch, and pink evergreen. This is really good. This is definitely very strong on a pine note, but it's like a, um, it's like a sweetened pine note with that like I don't know what the pink evergreen is or what the pink even means, but it almost smells like there's a sweetness to it, so it's not overly sharp or outdoorsy. I do think the cashmere cream did sort of cream it out, which made it uh, more bearable of a pine scent, but it still is a pine scent. And um, I don't know if I can smell the crackling birch or not, but this is a very pretty outdoorsy kind of scent, and I really like it. This is um, a skull that I cut up, and look at how cool that is. But yeah, I always love Britta's colors that she uses for her melts. They're awesome. Next one here is from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Little Mermaid, which is Mac Apple, Cotton Candy, Salty Sea Air, and Whipped Cream. I love Mac Apple. I love Salty Sea Air, and this was so strong in that Salty Sea Air. Definitely very strong on the Salty Sea Air note. So if you are someone who has that aversion to Salty Sea Air, please do not pick this up. But uh, those are the two main notes that I smell. Um, it isn't that sweet um, of a scent. It... Um, this is okay. I, I liked it. I don't know if I would repurchase it, but uh, it's okay. And it threw it about a medium, so not bad, but it did last a long time. Okay, the next one I have here 
is also from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Marshmallow Bath, which is Apple Bath and Marshmallow. I love Apple Bath. Um, something about the combination of Apple Bath and Marshmallows, this smells like Fruit Loops to me. Um, and this was actually a pretty good performer. It lasted about a day, so it was really, really good, really nice and strong. It just smells like Fruit Loops to me, so yeah, I don't know. Just something about the sweetness with the marshmallow and the apple bath just turns it to smell like Fruit Loops. Um, and then the last thing that I have here is from Southbound. This is Deathly Apples, which is, um, I love her cool Halloween shades. This is Green Apples, Red Apples, Tropical Peach Blossoms, and Orchid. This is so good. I love apple scents, and this is, this is definitely a green apple scent. So like a Granny Smith apple, but it's like super fruity, mixed with like the red apples and the tropical likeness with it. It... It has a hint of a floral note, which adds like a very pretty factor to it. It's almost like you arrived at like a, I don't know, like, what's a place that's like super tropical and you arrived and there's a bunch of fruit. You arrived in Hawaii or something and someone presents you with this and they give you the little like the lei with the flowers on it and it is so pretty, so good. I really, really like this scent. Um, this is one of my favorite scents I found from Southbound and yeah, I don't think she brought this back. I hope it's not discontinued because I hope she brings it back at some point because this is so, so good and it's a decent performer, decent performer, so yeah. So that is everything I've been melting recently. So let me know what you guys have been melting through. Um, if you guys have ever melted any of these items or anything you just want to recommend for me. So thank you so much for watching my channel. And you know, um, even if you are a silent viewer, I still appreciate you. Or people who comment on my videos, I always appreciate all my viewers. So thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.